Hello friends, welcome back to the series of interviews that we are having with toppers of FET 2022 from Reprenit Learning. Today we have got with us the very talented Dr. Deera Jindal, who have secured a fabulous rank six in this exam. This interview is for us to discuss with her how she was managed to achieve such a good rank with such a good score in the exam. She'll discuss with us the strategy that she adopted to uh, get such a wonderful result. So uh, over to you, Dr. Neeraj, many congratulations on the result. And let's start a little with your background where you did your UG and PG from, Dr. Neeraj. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I have done my UG from uh, Malana Azad Medical College and a PG from LHMC. And I am doing a senior residency there only, ma'am. LHMC? Okay. Yes, ma'am. So when did you finish your post-graduation? Uh, ma'am, I have given my exam in May 2022 only, ma'am. Okay, so just now you have finished and you're a fresher. Wonderful. So when was the decision made that you will be doing a super speciality and you'll be targeting one of these exams? Uh, ma'am, when I joined uh, my senior residency, then at oh, that time I decided that's that... Very good. Good. Before that, how was the studying? Uh, what were your sources of reading? Uh, Ma'am, before that, though, I was uh, studying like a normal postgraduate, like uh, the bo books that were... Uh, you were preparing for exit exams only? Yes. Okay. So how much time did you get at LHMC to read? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I have to uh, do duties. After that, uh, we were uh, so much tired because the duties were really hectic. But after that, I uh, used to study. I used to take out time every day for my uh, study. Okay. Now. So since when you've been taking out time every day? Since your first year, second year, or third year? Um, after post-graduation, uh, when after I joined. After post-graduation, you've been reading every day. Before yes. post-graduation, did you have the time? Um, um, before that, we uh, read only uh, in third year, ma'am, mainly. Only in third year. So this is what happens after your internship, your NEET exam. You're so tired that you want to give yourself a break after yes. six years of studying. So first two years, it is very rare to find people who will read. So that's very, uh, you know, students have to understand that even if they haven't read for first and second years, they can get a rank in top 10, uh, right, like Dr. Neera Jindal. So first and second year studying. Of course, if you have time, you have to read. But if you don't have time, you can catch up later whenever you want. Right. So third year, you read for your postgraduate exams, the exit exams. And then yes. after your exam, how was the preparation? Like when did you join the coaching? Um, and there was one of my senior who recommended about uh, this coaching. So I joined that because she was already doing FNB in reproductive medicine. Okay. So she told me about this and then I joined this. Uh, first, I joined one month course of this Repronit Learning. Uh, but, uh, in one month, uh, the syllabus was uh, very much uh, vast and so knowledge was there. So I was not able to complete the whole syllabus. So I just hear your videos. So I was able to learn that this is, these are the things that we need to know. So um, in first month, I, uh, I used to hear your video lectures. Uh, then I again uh, got, uh, got your course before AIMS exam. Uh, then I started making notes uh, before that exam, ma'am. Uh, in AIMS, I also uh, got selected uh, for interview, ma'am, but I was not able to clear the same. Okay. Uh, so all the FET rank holders, most of them had qualified the IIM yes. exam. Wonderful. So that yes. exam was very important for you. And then for FET, how much have you prepared? Uh, Ma'am, uh, at that time, I was having notes of all your classes, so I revised that, uh, and that only helped me. I haven't read anything out of that, Ma'am. Okay, so you have only read the notes, and you made your own notes from the video lectures? Yes, Ma'am. And then you read all those notes? Yes, Ma'am. Wonderful. Uh, so, did you open any books during these last six months? No, Ma'am. Nothing, only the notes and you would rely on them. Wonderful. Yes. So uh, let's discuss about the paper. How did you find the NEET SS paper? And then uh, tell me how was the FET paper? Uh, Ma'am, in NEET there was everything, matlab, uh, it was not uh, specified, uh, like it will be from reproductive medicine only or the branch you want to choose. It was more general, but in FET it was very much concise. So I had already read the notes, so I was able to do that exam. Yeah. So you found NEET SS a little more difficult? Um, it was more general, so... Uh, it was I very basic, in fact, it was too basic. Yes, ma'am. 
and we were not expecting a basic fail. Yes, ma'am. So FET exam also tell me about section section A and section B. Was there a problem managing those? Um, ma'am, uh, actually, I am not able to tell. I just uh, gave the exam. I was not even aware that how to exam. So I just gave the exam and then. Okay, so I, there were two sections. You remember? Yes, ma'am. So first forty questions, the paper was taken after that. It was over, and then the rest. There were two different sections. This is what students had told me, and because of this, some of them had problems. Uh, yeah. Out of all those hundred questions, how many did you attempt, and what was the strategy? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I left three questions. Rest of all, I have attempted none. And these three questions from were from section B or section A? Do you remember? Uh, Ma'am, uh, two from A and one from B. Ma'am. Oh, okay, only one from B. Which yes. was the more difficult part? So you were more confident in the more difficult part. Um, what students have been telling me that the base general was very easy and uh, yes, productive medicine and maternal fetal was slightly trickier. Um, uh, but as I've read notes, uh, more of that. Okay. So you found the other part more easy. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, as I spoke with all the toppers of this year's exam, FET 2022, I am finding, concluding that the paper was quite easy. So, this, you know, uh, shouldn't, uh, this impression shouldn't be there on the students appearing for the next exam that the paper was easy. It was easy to those who had prepared well. So, all those students who have spoken with had revised a multiple number of times the notes, and then that's why they found the paper easy. So, though it was easy, after the exam, none of you had told me that the paper was easy. Only, only after the result, everyone is telling me that the paper was actually easy. Yes, they found the paper easy. So, you found this paper easy, and that's why you have a rank of six, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. apart from first 20, none of them found the paper actually easy. They found it very difficult, or at least... Uh, you know, difficult to crack. But I, also, I also was not able to tell how was the exam after I gave my exam. Okay. So when you got the result, you know that, yes, it was easier. I've got a good rank. Wonderful. So any tip that you would want to give to people who are sitting and preparing for the exam now? Um, ma'am, I have just uh, be uh, if juniors ask me about that, how did you prepare for the exam? So I always uh, recommend that first of all, you have to give your exam that already will make your base strong then uh, depending on your uh, choices you will read about that topic and uh, i have read from your coaching ma'am i have read only from your coaching ma'am okay. because only your notes and i have revised only them so i will uh, recommend them to uh, go through this uh, learning and it will help them a lot ma'am yes it makes it easier because then you don't have to uh, wonder which book to read how much to read Yes, ma'am. You always update us also because we never remain updated to that extent, ma'am. So yes. usually are asked from that only. So how many Yes, recent updates are very important yes, before the exam. Yes, ma'am. Uh, wonderful. It was so nice uh, speaking with you, Dr. Neeraj. Uh, and that's all that I needed from you. Thank you for your time. It was difficult to schedule a meeting with you. Uh, yes. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Neeraj.